Hello, my name is Joe Moore. I'm the branch manager of Tiger Solar in Stanton, Virginia. I've got my buddy Jesse Simpson here with me. Uh, Jesse, how's it going today? Oh, it's going great. I'm uh, uh, living out here in Boise, Idaho, uh, running the Boise branch uh, for Tiger Solar. And we're here to chat about the best uh, three things to look for when you're looking to go solar at your residence or business. Joe, what's the what's the main thing you look for when you talk to your clients? Uh, when I get to the site, I'm really trying to get a feel for you know where the panels are going to be. And the first thing we're looking for is which way is south. So we like to see a roof that's got good southern exposure. It doesn't have to be perfectly due south, southeast and southwest are totally great. Um, but we're a lot more focused on the, the south facing roof than a north facing roof or, or true east, true west. So that's definitely number one. Um, what What's the next step for you once once you figure out where it's going? What are you looking at there? Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I like to you know look for the direction. And the second thing that makes your home really uh, good for solar or your roof, rather, is that you don't have a lot of obstructions. You know, a lot of houses have plumbing vents, gas vents, skylights on, on that roof section. So if you have a good exposure and then also uh, wide open space with without those obstructions, uh, then you're a perfect candidate for, for solar. Um, yeah, agreed. I, I, I like it when we can make it as um, kind of compact as possible. Um, we've done it all. You know, the pictures behind you are great examples of our adaptability. But, um, you know, for the average person who's trying to picture where the array is going to go, you're going to get the best bang for your buck if we have a nice open space. So if you're in the planning stages, you can plan for that. Um, or if you're just trying to visualize the system on your existing home, that, those are the types of areas you want to look for. Um, and, and you'd be surprised. Their solar panels can be mounted a lot of places, uh, just n not in the shade. So uh, us as solar guys, we, we look at every roof out there and we're like, man, we should put some solar panels on that roof. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a radar I have now if I'm driving around. Like, man, that's a great roof for solar. Yeah, I love it. Um, well, the other thing that I think is really important that I've heard you mention before is thinking about the longevity of the roof. You know, different roofing materials have different lifespans. The solar arrays are going to last for 25 years or more. So uh, I'm always really hesitant to put a system on a roof that I know is going to re be replaced at least in the next 10 years. You know, at least the system will have paid for itself in 10 years if you need to do a roof replacement. But I think that's really key. And that's something that can separate us from, you know, a high commission salesperson that's just trying to get as many panels on as many houses as they can to make those commission bucks. Um, we all of our salespeople, I think, are going to take a good hard look at you know, the expected life of your roof. So if you're getting ready to replace the roof, that's a great time to go solar and, and look for a quote. Yeah, and I'll, I'll also add, we, we also do ground mounts uh, out out in uh, your, your pasture. If you have, have a little bit of land, uh, we are professional ground mount uh, installers. And that is a, a great option because you don't have to worry about a roof uh, and having to uninstall it one day and you can orient it perfectly south at the right angle and get the best bang for your buck out of that type of installation. Yep, very true. Well, I think those are the key takeaways. Um, anything else you can think of? No, I think we I think we hit it. Uh, give us a call. We, we'd love to consult with you on your, your house or property about, about going solar. Well, thanks everybody for listening. Um, it's always a good time chatting with you, Jesse, and compare notes. Yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in. Good to see you, Joe. Look forward to talking with you about solar.